I'm so tapped up, and this is the unfinished swan. It's a very lovely game. Monroe's mother had always been much better at starting things than finishing them. When she died, she left behind over 300 canvases, not one of them finished, along with Monroe, who felt pretty unfinished himself. The orphanage allowed him to keep only one painting, and so he chose the unfinished swan that had always been his mother's favorite. But that night, he woke up to find the swan had disappeared. So he took his mother's silver paintbrush and followed the footprints into a little door he hadn't seen before. But everything's just white. Oh, I see. So this is a lovely little, I guess you'd call it an exploration game sort of thing. Um, with little bits of puzzle elements. Um, it's for piece. It's only on PlayStation. It's for PlayStation 3, 4, and Vita. I'm playing it on PS4. Not really a big difference between any of the versions. Just to get whatever one you uh, plan to play on. So um, it has this paint mechanic, as you might uh, be able to guess. I guess we got a little bamboo forest here. So uh, if, if you find this hard to look at, I will sort of spoil it. The whole game doesn't look like this at all times, but uh, it's definitely a striking first impression. So first we see some little footsteps. So that must be the swan. You know, pictures... Well, paintings, you know, just go up and wander around. Didn't you see Ib? You know, it's completely normal that... Oh, hi, Mr. Frog. Sorry about the paint. Hopefully it won't, like, coat your lungs and, like, kill you or something. He'll be fine. Oh! Well. The paint didn't kill him, so I'm still going to classify that as he'll be fine. And I probably don't want to go into the water, I suppose. Seems a little dangerous. I don't know. Could just be my imagination. I, uh, unfortunately there was... I couldn't find a reset progress button. I, I guess I could just delete my save file. But I wasn't sure if I wanted to do that. So this game does have some toys which let you mess around with stuff, like uh, you can erase all of the paint, which on this level is a very dumb thing to do. Um, you can, um, alright, there's a jump button. And um, you could also, uh, what else can you do? You can do this, um, sort of unlocks like a rapid fire hose for the paint, and uh, sniper rifle. Completely, you know, it's not a game until there's a gun, so this is officially a game, despite what you might think. You know, there's some feelings and stuff, but there is gun. So obviously, this is actual video game right here, my friends. How do you like that the audio scape is, everything's, it feels more real, because you, you can hear things going on, even when you're just, you know seeing whiteness and maybe some splatters and um, there is an achievement that I do not have and I'm not sure I will ever have for beating this entire level without firing I think there's a certain points we have to fire paint but you can't fire any paint to uh, see where to go and that's pretty freaking intense I think you have to like open this gate or maybe does it just push open not just pushes open Yes, yeah, so you just have to work around pretty much entirely by sound. There's a few places where you'll see some stuff, but like we'll see, we see that um, beautiful crown there. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like bags, of, like stuff. Oh, I thought this was a staircase. It's just like scaffolding. There's a staircase somewhere though. Oh, there's feet. Aw, oh, they're behind a gate. Get back here, feet. That's the duck, or the goose, rather. Ducks ducks are actually way better than geese. Have you ever met a goose? Geese are freaking geese are the worst. They're complete assholes. They have like these horrible teeth, too. Like, don't don't go near geese. Geese, geese are the worst. Um, oh, there was a staircase. It's over here. There's also a prototype of this first level that uh, you eventually unlock, I think by beating the game. You can play the prototype, and uh, it's, it's you know, it looks very prototype-y, but... You can see some influences on um, 
on what you see. <laughs> I really like this uh, look back at uh, what you've done. So you sort of you sort of painted the level, and you get to see a bit more of it that way. And I'll accidentally use some of the uh, the toy features, the unlockable things. What's oh? I hear you, Mr. Goose. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, there's. What you're supposed to do is there's balloons every once in a while, and you pop the balloons with your paintballs, and then they uh, get added to your thing. You know, it's a little collectible hunt, and uh, they gradually unlock powers, which include the little hose thingy. Oh, there's the geese feet. Let's go meet the geese, the goose. Oh, never mind. It was a chicken all along, entirely different, but with lovely talons. Lovely talents. Well. Oh, there's a... Um, whatever that is. Oh, it's a hand with a ring. Clutching a, a, a little wine glass. Nice. It's a nice, tasteful, incredibly not ridiculous art. Little gold piggy tail! That's definitely... The pig's butt is definitely the finest um, thing you can have a sculpture of in your... Lovely, pure white castle. I hear you, goose. I hear your lies. Oh, it's a unicorn. Now that's a bit more reasonable thing to make a little statue of. I really like this game's art style. It's kind of hard to see with, you know, all of the everything being white situation. Like I said, we'll, we'll be able to see things at some point. There is story and stuff here. There's not just me running around talking to an empty white void. Uh, for a few minutes, you just have to trust me on that one. Well, I guess we did see the storybook. I do like I like things that tell you sort of through a storybook perspective. Ah, here we go. This is the little royal emblem. Oh. While I'm screwing around, since we already have all of the toys, this is a fun one. You can stop time for the balls only. You place a crap ton of them. And sploop! Beautiful. A fun thing is if you place too much black, then it's kind of hard to see once again. The king was young, arrogant, and amazingly talented. Same. He was convinced no color existed that was good enough for his garden, so he left it white. While he pondered how to create some new colors, the kingdom began attracting settlers, and he found himself with bigger problems. The king was young, arrogant, oh, and I forgot it reads it for you. Talented. Oh well. He was convinced no color existed that was good enough for his garden, so he left it white. While he pondered how to create some new colors, his kingdom began attracting settlers, and soon he found himself with bigger problems. Duck! A goose! Whatever. I'm going to keep calling it a duck since I mentioned ducks. Get back here, goose! Got some paint for you. Part two, the watchtower. But who watches the watchtowers? Hmm. Deep. See, we're seeing some little bits of colors. Spider goose, spider goose does whatever a spider goose does. What does a spider goose do? Wait a minute. Hmm. I was hoping to hit myself in the back of the head with a paintball. I'm not sure if it lets you do that. But yes, we've got some impossible spaces. My favorite variety of space. What's this? Oh, here we go. Um, what's under me? Oh, we've got some nice precious urns. Rest in peace. There we go. Alright. Oh, we've got shading! Oh, and we got a gate closing behind us. Now we have shading. Lovely. Are you gonna start reading? Or... Do, do I have to do something to start the reading? The king's new subjects we were tired of white. They were tired of tripping, of banging their shins, <laughs> of misplacing their homes. So they started painting everything ruining the king's spotless design. 
In response, the king outlawed all non-magical brushes and pledged to spend the next month painting shadows for his kingdom. <laughs> yeah, I hate when people use non-magical brushes. It's just so rude. Nice little... Oh! Whoa. Seems a little dangerous, don't you think? That's funny. Is that the thing that ate the frog earlier? Doesn't seem like a good place to... Uh, Take a swim, does it? Yeah, we've got shading now, which is nice. You got that going for you, which is nice. And I like that the, um, the, um, part three, the first castle. If you throw paint into water, it kind of just floats and, like, bloops around. I really like the change from the just the white to the shadows, and we get to see sort of the art style of the thing now. Does this have a... Nah, there's no run button. Can we just hop on in the water? Seems safe, right? Oh. Nah, it just kicks us out. We don't even get, e get eaten by, the, by Nessie. How lame. Oh well. Hey, door. Open your face. I said open. Hmm. Guess we can't go that way. There's a door this way. Or a thing. Stairs. Whatever. Stairs are like doors that go upwards. See? Think about that for a while. <laughs> that just got nothing on this. Oop. <clears throat> Ruined. Oh. A way through a maze, I guess. I'm sure that won't be relevant later or anything. <laughs> I love the mustache emblem. Big ol' hippo. Let's give him some color. Eh, that's too much color. Oh, it's little figures of the garden, I guess. There's the pig thing and there's the bench. What's up the ladder? Ah, that's why there's little figures. Whoa. It's... Yeah, whoa. It's the, uh... <laughs> it's the garden we were just in. But with colors now. Well, gray and white are colors, right? Yeah. <laughs> I like the little view of... Just in case you missed anything, there's where you were. And now it's covered in paint. This game gives you a strong urge to just destroy everything in your path with paint. It's not really something you can avoid. Ooh. Whoa. I like big reveals like that. Just Oh, hey. It, it almost looks like you're looking at a painting, doesn't it? It doesn't look like a real 3D thing, but then you just pop out and... Oh. It is. And then there's a giant... Oh, goose! Get back here! You don't have a neck! You'll die out there without your neck. Yeah, we've got a big old maze to go through, I suppose. This is where, we, we, there'd be, you know, some, um, whatchamacallums. There'd be some balloons to go grab here if I hadn't already played the game, but, uh, it's not a big deal. It's just, you know, a little collect-a-thon thing. It doesn't change too much. Ah. I think you paint these to trigger it? The labyrinth was designed to be beautiful, and it was. It was not designed to be practical, and it wasn't. Dragon in the Whole background. Whole families got lost for weeks at a time. Mail took Rip. months to arrive, and many worried a labyrinth of this size was bound to attract dragons. <laughs> Eventually, the complaints grew so loud, even the king couldn't ignore them. You build a labyrinth, dragons move in. That's how dragons work. Dragons are jerks. Nice little view of the windows there. I just love how quiet and impactful the uh, views in this game are. Feels a little weird to talk over it, even. I did. I played this game at release. Oh, I love this. A little bit of Z fighting in the distance there. 
A nice little shove. Oh, hey, water. Oh, there's the goose! Get back here, Mr. Goosey friend. Mr. Goosey friend, please! I'm not paid to put up with your beeswax, Mr. Goosey friend. What's this? Uh, we got that. That's nice. I think there's maybe a balloon hidden there or something is why that's focused on that. Yeah, we don't need to worry about the balloons. We need to worry about this balloon now. Put a little black paint on there. Whee! This looks safe. For the first time in weeks, Monroe felt good. He felt even better when the wind pushed him close enough to reach the swan. Heck he yeah. was feeling so good, in fact, that he forgot all about his fear of heights. Oh, that's a problem. But when the swan wriggled free and Monroe fell over the side, <laughs> he remembered almost immediately. Rip. That might have been the end of Monroe, if this were a shorter story, but it isn't, which is why Monroe's troubles were just beginning. Well, I guess Monroe's lucky this isn't a short story. I guess we gotta do the chapters each time. I forget if any of those are spoilers. I'll edit Monroe these scrambled things out of the are. water and found himself in a massive city with no sign of the swan or anyone else. Well, except someone's enormous pair of feet. That is my These were attached to a giant who could have been a big help in catching the swan, but unfortunately, here was the laziest giant who had ever lived. And it was his day off. <laughs> Having celebrated in his usual way, he was now sleeping it off and quite unable to hear Monroe yelling. While he was looking for a way to wake the giant, Monroe noticed something even better. A floating ship. Heck yeah! It's the thing I doused with paint! And see, now we have even more colors. And now we have water paint, or like... Oh yeah, it is water. Very pretty, pretty little water balls we fire. I'm not sure what we fire them out of, but we we sure do fire them. Actually, I think since this is a new area, and I think we'll split this per area, so I don't end up going too long. Um, so this is the unfinished swan, and I'll keep continuing with this. And uh, there's a few other better known, like artsy games, for um, PlayStation and so on that uh, I, I didn't. Like, I really played and enjoyed myself, but I never, like, oh, ho Hokum is another one I'll do. I don't know. I just didn't do videos on them, and I'm not really sure why. I guess just, I figured maybe they're well-known enough, but I still like them, and I, I want to show them off. So, uh, hey, Mr. Goose. So, tomorrow, or next, next episode, we'll uh, explore this place. I like the little coffee cup. He's got a little coffee cup with a toothbrush in it. That's, I guess that's the giant's. Anyway. That's the unfinished one for today.